Hi, this is Ravi Shankar Murugan, Director of Cloud Operations at Cohesity. In this video, I'll be discussing about the different layers of security we have implemented in the Cohesity Helio solution. Let me start with a quick introduction about the Helio solution. The Helio solution is a SaaS-based application management solution. It is a single pane of class where our customers can manage, configure, search the data in the Cohesity data platform hosted either in the on-prem or in the cloud or in the edge. As it is a SaaS-based solution, the Cohesity operations team takes care of managing the service, monitoring the service, and making sure it's highly available for our customers. As I said earlier, the key focus area in this video is about the different levels of security in the Helio service. Let's dive into that now. Here is a comprehensive list of security layers we have implemented in the Cohesity Helios solution. Let's start with secure access. There are two types of users who connect into the Helios environment. One is our customers, one is our Cohesity operational users who takes care of the availability of the service. For our customers, we have integrated with a single authentication and authorization provider. This helps to protect our customer profiles and have a secure connection into the Helios environment. For the operational users, we have a single directory service through which we can dynamically manage their permissions and roles as they move from one organization to another organization. Let's move on to the next layer of security, which is secure transport. The connection to the Helios environment can either come from a user through a browser or from the Cohesity data platform, which are running in on-prem or edge or in a cloud. All these connections are HTTPS over TLS. 1.2. We specifically use TLS 1.2 to make sure we'll be able to use like high-end cipher securities. Let's move on to the next one, which is data encryption at rest. We bring only metadata into the Helios environment. Even though we bring only metadata, we want to make sure we encrypt at rest. So the data in the Helios environment is encrypted at rest using AEX 256 encryption. Moving on to the next one, which is data security. As I said earlier, the data that we bring into the environment is metadata. We would never bring a customer data that is moved across the Cohesity data platform into the Helios environment. The type of metadata that we bring in are about stats information about the clusters, about the object types we basically like replicate, about the time we take to basically complete a job. Those are the metadata we bring into the environment. And as I said earlier, it also gets encrypted at rest. Let's move on to the next one, which is data isolation and proximity. Helios is a multi-tenant environment, so it's very critical to segregate the data. And the way how we do that is through authorization and indexing, we segregate the data. At any point in time, a customer data one, a customer one data will never be leaked into a customer two data. And we take care of that through the authorization and indexing. Now, let's move on to the data proximity. Helios has the ability to be hosted in multi-region and across the globe. As more and more compliance comes into the picture, it's important that the data in a local location talks to the Helios environment in that specific region or in that specific country. And Helios basically provides that ability and capability to scale across the globe. The last is the monitoring and visibility. It's very important as we build all these layers, we were pretty, very particular about this specific area where we have to monitor all these different levels of security we have built in the environment. Through this monitoring visibility, our Cohesity operations team basically monitors for rogue, secure, rogue access, for rogue connections, and for any divergence in the Helios environment. Uh, I hope I've covered enough about the different security layers we have implemented in the Helios environment. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and look at our Helios FAQ, and that'll give you more information about the different security layers we have implemented in the Helios environment. Thank you.